so this is a DARPA Young Faculty Award that provides two years of funding for faculty who are um, starting their research careers. In this case, what I'm going to do is to try to use cells to carry out a non-biological reaction, and I'd like to use cells to generate nanowires using their own machinery. So the ultimate goal of this research would be to generate almost a synthetic neuron. So it would be a cell that generates um, conducting nanowires that enables the cell to conduct electricity, cell-to-cell um, -cell conduction of electricity. So to have a cell grow its own nanowires. So in that case, what you'd be able to do is allow cells to communicate each with each other through the nanowires, or you could use the nanowires for sensing applications to sense, for example, cellular damage. My group has done a lot of work to study how cells carry out chemical reactions, and in this case I'm very interested because it's a non-biological reaction. So can we have the cell carry out a reaction that's useful for us instead of useful for the cell? The idea here is that it could happen very quickly. So we can make nanowires in solution, chemists can do that, but in this case that would take a long time to make a nanowire and deliver it into a cell or into the brain, but if a cell is carrying out its own synthesis that could happen very, very quickly. So the ultimate goal with these nanowires is that they could be a very fast treatment to traumatic brain injury or a um, already present diagnostic system. So the difference between injury and treatment now is very long, but we'd like that to be instantaneous, where as soon as a brain injury happens, treatment occurs instantaneously. So what would be great is at the end of two years, if we've actually demonstrated that we can produce nanowires in cells, or rather that the cells can produce their own nanowires, and from that point forward, we can start to optimize the nanowires for conducting properties and also start to establish cell-to-cell um, -cell communication with the nanowires.